again on this fifth Sunday in the month of March, and we're celebrating Palm Sunday, Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem as king. But it's also known as Passion Sunday because in between the celebration, Christ suffered for us. He endured a lot for us. Praise God, because he had a lot of passion for us. So my message is pretty much on the passion, the passion of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this time. We give you thanks for this day. God, we, we thank you, God, for uh, what transpires so far. We thank you for the blessings that you have bestowed upon us with the children, God. You said, suffer the little children to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of God. So, God, we delight in you and what you're doing for us this day. God, at this time, I ask that you breathe a fresh anointing upon me. God, I pray that you continue to use me for your glory. Use me for your will. And I also pray that they will receive a word from thee. All these things I ask in your precious name. Amen. 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 What are we passionate about? Do we have a lot of passion for the things in life? What motivates us to do or become the person who we are today? It takes a lot of will. It takes a lot of determination, a lot of desire. It takes a lot of passion. And even when we are down and out, when we are downtrodden, when we are downcasted, right? Just think of the testimonies that were given earlier on today. When we are down and out and people are telling us things that is not uh, good, negative stuff, it's a burning passion that is inside of us, that is within us, that helps us to arrive to our destiny. The great opera singers such as Marin Anderson and Leontine Price, they were not simply great for having the gift of singing opera. They had a lot of passion to hone their craft to become great opera singers. It is the same for the great gospel singers such as Mahalia Jackson and Aretha Franklin. We have Shirley Caesar, Albertina Walker, Sissy Winans, Yolanda Adams, and many, many more gospel singers. I could go on and on and on. There are so many, but they, they were not great or legendary because of the gift they had, it's because of their passion. They had a lot of passion or have a lot of passion to hone their craft. When it comes to Palm Sunday, we are reminded of Jesus' triumphant entry, Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. We are reminded of the crowd celebrating, but we speak less of the passion of Jesus Christ. In the gospel reading of Mark chapter 11, verses 1 to 11, is the account of Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Everything about Jesus is filled with a lot of passion. Jesus was meek, mild, and humble. He was born in a lonely manger. He was raised in Nazareth of Galilee, a town which was not highly valued in society, that when Philip spoke of Jesus as the Messiah in the Gospel of John chapter 1, verse 20, 46 to Nathaniel, Nathaniel remarked, can anything good come out of Nazareth? There indeed was and is the Messiah who has a lot of passion for the people. Amen. So here in the gospel of Mark chapter 11, Jesus and his disciples were approaching Bethpage, which was east of Jerusalem. He had just finished healing the blind man in the city of Jericho. And he came to Bethany near the Mount of Olives where instructed two of his disciples. <coughs> These instructions Jesus gave to his, his disciples were specific. He told them to go into the village and locate the colt that was never been ridden and untie it. Jesus let them know that as soon as they went into the village that they would find that coat. Jesus did not say later while they go shopping into the village. He said immediately when they entered into the village, they will find the coat there 
one that has never been written, then untie it. Jesus already knew what was to come when he was about to enter into Jerusalem. Then Jesus also let them know in verse 4, if anyone asks, why are you doing this? Just replied, the Lord needs it and will send it back here immediately. In these couple of verses, we see that Jesus instructed the disciples and they listened and follow Jesus just as how Jesus instructed. Here, church, we need to have the same passion as these two disciples of being obedient to listen and follow Jesus' instructions. We need to have the same passion to be obedient to the will of God. Amen? When they went to get the colt, there were indeed bystanders who saw them. And they questioned these disciples, just as all Jesus predicted. And they replied to the bystanders that the Lord has need of it and will send it back immediately. How many of us can testify to others when God requires something from us? We have the same passion to say to the people that we are doing it because the Lord has need of it. Glory to God. This is the blessing of being a child of the most high God. If we are passionate of being faithful and obedient to God, he will reward us for our faithfulness. So they brought the call to Jesus and they laid their cloaks on it and Jesus sat on the colt. Then they began to spread their cloaks on the road and spread leafy branches. And this is why we celebrate Palm Sunday. The palms represent the leafy branches that they cut from the fields while Jesus rode into Jerusalem. When he was riding into Jerusalem, the crowd began to shout, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Remember, church, the Jews, they were looking for a type of king that was like David. David was a king who was dressed up in his armor and he fought many battles and he won many battles because God was with him. So they were looking for a king like David that would set them free from the Roman emperor. But Jesus came on a colt and he was highly exalted as the king of kings, the Lord of lords. Philippians 2 verse 9 says, therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that the name of Jesus every knee shall bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hosanna to the kings of kings. Hallelujah. As astonishing as it was to the crowd, it was not who they expected as their king because they were looking for the pomp and circumstance. But they still, that crowd still acknowledged Christ as the king during that moment. The crowd cheered with a lot of passion when Jesus came riding into Jerusalem. It is just like how we cheer for our favorite team when we're watching basketball or baseball and football. We're, we're cheering for our favorite team with a lot of passion. Glory to God. But Jesus came riding on a colt into Jerusalem. So this is letting us know that we do not have to be seen by many with a lot of pomp and circumstances. We do not have to try to do the extraordinary to stand out in the crowd, but we can come lowly and people will recognize us for who we are and treat us just like royalty. Glory to God. Luke 14, 11 says, for all who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Hallelujah. Today Amen. we celebrate Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Psalm 118 verse 24 tells us, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So today we're celebrating, we are rejoicing, we are shouting, Hosanna to the King of Kings. 
We know that Jesus Christ is the true and living God. And although we celebrate Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem, we must not forget church, his passion. This is because the very same people who shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, Jesus already knew that within the same week, they will shout, crucify, crucify him. So Jesus still had a lot of passion for his people. He knew that he was going to be betrayed by one of his disciples. He knew that the crowd would favor Barnabas than him. He knew that they will send him to uh, Calvary to be crucified for all of our sins. Glory to God. The passion of Jesus Christ is bearing the cross for all of us, for saving the sins of humankind and the whole world. Amen. What are we passionate about this day? My prayer is that we'll have the same passion, the same drive, the same tenacity to humble ourselves just like Jesus. My prayer is that we'll have the same passion to take care of the least of these, to feed those who are hungry, have passion to give water to those who are thirsty, have passion to care, take care of those who are sick, have passion to welcome the strangers and to take care of the elderly. Have passion to let others know the good news, to tell the stories of Jesus, the wonderful stories of Jesus. This should be our passion. Have the passion to share with others the ultimate sacrifice that God sent his only son. On this Palm Sunday, Today we shall rejoice his triumphant entry into Jerusalem. But next week we are going to mourn. But we know the story did not end there. Hallelujah. We know that he did not end right there. He was triumphant in life. He was triumphant over sin. He was triumphant over death. And he is risen. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Righteous One, the Holy One, our Redeemer who lives. And we lift his name on high with a heart full of praise. He is exalted, oh Lord my God, Hosanna in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to the King of Kings. Praise God. Give thanks to the Lord. For he is good, his steadfast love endures forever. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to Thanks be to God. God. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Praise God. Amen. And on this Palm Sunday, if there's anyone that is on the call who do not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, this is a time that you can come. Romans 10 verse 9 says, if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we thank you for just being so wonderful, for being so good, for being so kind. We thank you, God, that even though you knew, God, what was going to come, that you had so much passion for us, and you still have a lot of passion for us. Father, we're praying, oh God, that you help us to have the same passion as though you've endured the cross, as though you bear the cross for all of our sins. Oh God, help us to have the same passion to treat others with humanity, treat others with love and respect, oh God. Father, we're praying for this unjust world. Father, we're praying for the people in Georgia. God, you see what is going on in that state. Give them the strength, oh God. Let them overcome, let them persevere. Father, continue to give them the passion, oh God, to do your will. Yeah. Remove all evil, oh God. Renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, oh God. Touch, oh God, the politicians, Father. We're praying for the governor. God, we're praying for a just world. 
Father, let justice reign, oh God, in this nation and in this land. God, we thank you. We honor you. We praise your holy, wondrous name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.